Hi everyone, my name is Aneta and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'll share a small project I did at the very beginning of this year. I wanted to recycle some old narrow frames and I was looking for a simple composition, nothing too detailed. Since lately I've been attracted mostly to greens and browns when it comes to my color palette, I wanted to make something nature themed. I do love the idea of growing herbs and I would even have space for that. Uh, the problem is that most herbs that I use in the kitchen every now and then are rather delicate Sadly, I can be surrounded only by strong, resistant plants that don't need my attention so often. That being said, um, the world of plants, their properties, legends and everything surrounding them is fascinating. So, who knows? The process is, I guess, pretty self-explanatory. I didn't use masking fluid, so I jumped straight ahead to watercolors and I added details with acryl holbein gouache. You can also see the piece on the right is slightly moved to the top. And the reason is that I haven't planned the composition well. And the only way to adjust that was to move the canvas space to the top. Otherwise, I would need to erase everything and I was too lazy to do that.
changing the subject a bit. Um, as promised, I'm back with my YouTube videos. For now, I have only time for one video a month and um, I'm hoping to reduce that time to three weeks. I know this doesn't sound like much, uh, but I'm trying to, you know, be realistic about that. I mean, I do like the idea of having a YouTube channel. I always loved watching other artists and I kind of always wanted to share my process. And I feel that this should become one of the small priorities this year. Um, we'll see how it goes, but I think I need this platform to improve few things on a personal level. Well, there used to be a time when I would simply sit and draw and I didn't mind the lack of fancy art supplies or space. Any table would do. However, with years passing, I started to feel the need of having a decent art corner and I also started collecting art supplies, which is fun, you know. Um, I'm, I'm a working adult, as I mentioned in my previous video, I have a standard office full-time job, so I can afford to do that, but I've been thinking lately that everything I always wanted, I finally have. All the necessary tools are here, ready to be used, so here we are, time to set up a new long-term goal, I guess. Well, first and above all, I want to obviously start producing more art and working on my portfolio. I did few attempts in the past, but they didn't work out. My art was too random, I feel. I don't have a target nor a specific niche I would like to place myself in. I'm thinking about illustration, but you know, I need to be fully comfortable with what I create. I don't want to force anything. I've experimented many styles over the past few years and I got to a conclusion that I have to stop leaving the idea that I need to adapt to a certain artistic trends in order to make my artworks likable and more, I don't know, clickable. I just want to feel accomplished on my own terms and do what I feel is best for me. And I know this might not be a huge revolutionary news as creative, we are pretty much older, you know, always trying to improve and um, present ourselves in a, in a certain way. The only huge difference is that um, if art is not your job and your everyday reality is pretty ordinary and everything but creative, it can be hard at times. So personally, I get constantly distracted by millions of things and I keep losing the track of what and why I want to paint something. And maybe this is the reason why I want to, you know, be stubborn about this channel. Um, in order to avoid art blocks and self-doubt and whatnot. I think I need a solid uh, schedule system. And it doesn't need to be overwhelming. It actually cannot be overwhelming, otherwise it won't work. I just want it to be consistent. Like, if I don't know what to draw, I'll do an A5 small sketch in my sketchbook and see if the idea will develop eventually. I think it's better this way than spending hours on Pinterest, being overly inspired and make paintings once every five months and only when inspiration strikes. So there's that. I hope it made sense. As I said, it's nothing new under the sun. If you are in a similar position, you're not alone. I've got your back. <laughs> so I hope this video was pleasant to watch. You can find these two paintings in my imprint shop, although I did some small corrections as I wasn't really happy with the fonts I used. Thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe if you like the content and I'll see you very soon. Ciao!